Hello, my loves. I'm back. And as you can see, I don't look any better than I did 12 hours ago. Because the day has gotten away from me. And what you see is what you get with me. So, you know, there's that. So tonight, before a live audience, I'm going to perform a feat that I have never performed before. And that is making a berry cobbler uh, in front of people forever. I know that I said it this morning. I will, con I will continue to speak it. I don't bake. So this, it looks like it's really, really easy. And so I was like, you know what? I can do this and I can do this. Like I'm, you know, I was feeling confident. And as soon as I committed to, do, to doing this, I, feel, I started feeling like I want to throw up. Because I don't know what I'm doing. So then I called one of, I called my, my sister that bakes, Jackie. And she's like, it's fine, it'll be fine. You know, she told me how to doctor it a little bit. Um, she actually sent me a recipe, not her recipe, but a recipe that's very similar to hers. And then, hey Shanice. And then um, told me what to do, you know, on the side and whatnot. So I'm just gonna jump right in here because I still feel, I just feel so anxious. I just feel so, I don't like the way that baking makes me feel. I should say that. Like I like, I like to eat dessert, but I don't like to make dessert. Okay. So over here we have four cups of mixed berries. So I got raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. Okay. See, isn't this beautiful? This might be a, I'm going to put post this to YouTube eventually. So here's a lousy thumbnail of me looking like Aunt Jemima. That is, that's awesome. Anyway, yeah, the hair might get done tomorrow. I don't know. Anyway, here's the berries. So into this, I'm supposed to dump, oh, I just feel so. And it's a very simple recipe. So I shouldn't be this stressed out, but I am, whatever. Okay, so these berries weren't super, super sweet. So the recipe, hey Erin. Um, the recipe called for a cup of granulated sugar. Jackie said put a cup and a half. We're going to go with what Jackie said. So, just going to, just going to toss it right. God, that looks like a lot of sugar. Good Lord, that's a lot of sugar. Okay. Maybe, maybe not quite. Maybe not quite. Okay, so we're going to go with a cup and a third. And then I got a half a teaspoon of salt. That goes in there. And here's where things go to hell in a handbasket. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so this here is a half of a cup of flour, all-purpose flour. This is going in. Now, what Jackie told me to do, which made sense to me, because this is looking very chalky to me. Jackie told me to take out, out of that half of a cup of flour, she told me to put some, about two teaspoons on the side with some water. I pray to God she's watching this here, so maybe she could tell me, and put in some water to make a roux. So I guess it's going to make the juice you know, make it a little bit juicier. Because like I said, that looked a little bit pasty to me. So that's going in. I don't think I even mixed that up good. That looked like that was all water. You know what? That's in God's hands now. That's We're going to turn it over to the Lord. That's what we're going to do there. Okay. So now I'm just supposed to mix this up. It look too juicy now. Okay. I'm sure that this is going to kind of caramelize in the oven. Anyway. This is what I'm working with now. So now, it just says to pour. So I've got a pre... This is probably why I don't bake too. Because I don't like to have to touch butter 
with my fingers and I had to grease this pan. So, and you know, you think as much as, I use butter in almost everything I make, but I don't have to finger it. So here we go. This is a our prepared thing. We're gonna put our berry mixture. We've got our oven preheated to 400. Put this dude over into here. And then we're going to say a little prayer over him. Lord Jesus, please, please touch this berry cobbler and make it so that it's not too juicy and runny and that it holds together firm. You know, like the hold on to the blood of your garment. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So, we've covered our berry cobbler with the Lord's Prayer. There we go. So, there's that. And then we're going to... This is a tablespoon of butter that's supposed to be melted. So we're going to melt it while we cut our pie crust. Oh, this is making me so nervous. Stop calling me, Taryn. Okay. So now, Tiffany, I don't have a brush. You, I'm not a baker, honey. We're going we, to listen to me. Listen to me when I say this. That recipe I just read didn't say nothing at all about a damn brush, okay? So, uh, we're gonna put this melted butter on here the best way we know how. We're gonna, we're gonna, like I said, it's in, it's in God's hands now. So, all right. Anyway, so now I'm supposed to be cutting up, hold on a minute, where'd I put it? Where'd I put it here? Pie crust. Pillsbury pie crust. Now, Jackie also told me that I'm not gonna make my own pie crust, which I'm never going to make my own pie crust. Let's be clear about that. She said, don't skimp on it and buy the off brand, always get Pillsbury. So, here we go. Do a little promo for Pillsbury, you know. Okay, so, what the lovely lady, and I don't think I'm gonna need the whole thing of this, this is just a dry run, by the way. This is, uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, this is just, uh, it's tearing. Here we go. All right. I have laid this out. So let me, let me point you guys in the direction of what, what exactly I'm doing now. Can you guys see that? I hope. Okay, so stressed out, so stressed out. All right, let me get a knife. And I'm supposed to cut, that looks awfully juicy. I, I, I'm, I'm so afraid. Jackie said a little bit of water and I'm gonna put a whole bunch of water in there. Okay, anyway, all right, so I'm cutting strips now so that I can do a lattice work and make it look like somebody that knows what they're doing is doing it. And right this second, guys, I can't see what you're saying. Hold on a minute. Because I know y'all are talking shit about me. And that's okay. Because, you know, we were all novices at something once. Am I right? All right. So, here we go. I think I cut this too short. It's about to be the ugliest cobbler. Oh, lattice work. What is lattice work anyway? Okay, this is my version of lattice work, y'all. We're going to put one across there. And maybe, let's get fancy. Let's get fancy. Make little squares. Here we go. We're gonna put little. What? Look, looking, doing this like she's been doing it, like this might turn out to be something. And don't get me wrong, we're gonna eat this bad boy because it's full of sugar. I 
Okay. Oh, I've been so stressed out about this all day. Like, I've been so stressed out about this that I had to take a nap. I think I had an anxiety attack. I really do. I was... And then you're like, you know, this couldn't be this. Couldn't be that difficult. But when you've never done something before, you know, something different. All right, I think my butter's ready. All right, it's about to get crazy, people. Wait a minute. Let's make it look pretty. Oh, we. <clears throat> Okay, so this is what that's what that looks like. So now, see, not my favorite thing. Now, you all do realize that if this turns out to be anything great, that I'm gonna act like I've been doing this my whole life, right? Because I will perp on you all in a heartbeat. I just want to say that out loud. Okay. I feel like this is not enough melted butter. Tiffany, is this no... It said a tablespoon. I'll be honest with you. I feel like... See, this is how the non-pros do it. See, we're just drizzling. We're drizzling and we're smearing. We're smearing and drizzling. Yep, that's what's happening. I don't know, this might be enough. Maybe whoever made this little recipe, maybe they knew what they were talking about, I don't know. So there we go, there we, there. So now we got butter on all of our parts for the most part. Like I said, be prepared for a whole bunch of crap talking if this turns out to be like anything. Okay, so now the recipe said put a little bit of cinnamon on top. We got a little cinnamon shaker here. We're just going to kind of go over it like that. And then some sugar. A little bit, a little bit more sugar on the top. Sugar on the top. And I'm gonna come back and read all these comments because I already know my baker friends are gonna be like, what the hell is she doing? Okay, that looks sugary enough to me. So this bad boy is about to go into the oven. Hold please. Alright, <clears throat> there we go, so I'm so stressed, so, so stressed, I just, I cannot wait to see what this turns in, into, because, uh, yeah, um, just place them in like dumplings, what are you talking about Shanice, Shanice do you bake? crazy lady. Do you bake? Because if you do, hold on a minute here, people. I'm trying to wipe off this. It seems so blurry to me. Maybe it's because of the air. There we go. Okay, so we have 30 minutes and then we are going to come back. I'm going to go ahead and get my red beans going and we're going to come back and we're going to see what we have and if we need to draw back on the juice on the roux because Jackie kind of left me out there hanging. She's just like, she tried to explain it to me. She did. But I'll be honest with you, you know how like you get to that point where you're like pretty close to crying, but you don't want to act like you're about to cry because I was so anxious. And she's like, okay, Sissy, calm down. Calm down. You're going to make a roux. You're going to take a little bit of that flour, a couple teaspoons of the flour, and put it off to the side, put some water with it, and... Um, but she didn't say the exact measurement or maybe she did. I'm pretty sure she did. And I just blocked it out. And so I used like a half a cup of water. 
I don't think I should have used a half cup of water. It was way too juicy. And then now the berries are going to melt. They're going to get soft. And then it's going to be a very juicy cobbler. So Shanice, you're saying I, I should have cut the dough in squares and placed them inside like dumplings. Ew, I don't want that. I don't like soft dough. I don't like the um, mushy stuff. I like the I like my crust on top. So I think that's a personal preference thing. Yeah, I don't I don't want the now I did see where somebody did um their dough mixture like they just basically because they don't use the pre made dough stuff, they use the actual flour and water and salt or whatever, and then they mix it all up and then they pour it over all the berries once they get into a flat pan, and so it kinda drowns the berries. And that, I didn't think that I wanted it crusty like that. You know what I mean? So, anyway. So, okay. <clears throat> so, you all pray for my cobbler. I appreciate all your prayers and concerns. Send a little love and light into the oven. You know, a little, little good juju. Um, and I'm going to come back in a half an hour. And I'm going to show you what we end up with. So, there's that. So, yes, and Shanice, I did not know that you baked, darling. That is, you're, you are just a Bedelia onion. I just keep peeling back layers of you. You are a, a woman of many talents. Okay, all right, y'all. I can relax now for a minute. I'm still, maybe I should have taken a pill or something before I started this. I probably should have taken my blood pressure medicine this morning, but I didn't. And so I've been very stressed out. But the nap helped, so... Upward and onward. We're going to see what this berry cobbler turns into momentarily. So I will be back in 30 minutes. So it's 6.30 here, 7 o'clock. We'll, I'm going live again. We're going to pull it out of the oven together and see what we're working with. So I'll talk to you on the flip side. Peace out. I'm back. Jen said I didn't have the right energy for the last video. So... I don't, but you know what? I don't look perky tonight because I didn't put on any makeup. I'm a little shaky. Let's just put that out there. Okay, guys. So we're here at the finish line. I've just removed it from the oven. This goofball. I have a taste tester on deck. This is going to be hot as fire, too. I should tell you that. Like, it just came out of the oven, so it's going to be boiling hot. So first of all, wait, wait, wait. First of all, i got to turn this around so you guys can see. It came out pretty spectacular. It looks pretty fancy. I'm just saying. What do you think of it, Squee? Looks like a, what is it called, a lacrosse pie? Or, or lattice, that lattice. lattice. Yeah, okay. All right, so um, give the spoon right there, and I'm going to let you have the first little taste of corner. Now make sure, because I want to see the consistency of it, too. Ooh, that's hot. That is really hot. Maybe, I'll tell you what, go get a bowl and get some ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks magnificent. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself right here. And you know what? It's basically pure sugar. So how can this possibly go wrong? Now, Do is over here making, she's cheese. over here doing cheesecakes. Do bakes. I do not. But this might be added to my repertoire if, uh, like I said, next time you guys see me doing a berry cobbler, I'm going to act like I've been doing this my whole life. And you all better not call me out on it. Ice cream, babe. Get some ice cream. Let me put ice cream on top. I feel like the ice cream should have went at the bottom so that you could kind of, you know, whatever. Whatevs. So let's see what we got going on there. Bring it over here into the light because I got my light over here. So, consistency-wise, I think we're good. Excuse me, Scott. I'm sorry, babe. Oh, I'm sorry. Microwave. Yeah, I think the consistency-wise, we, we might be on point here. Oh, that's the microwave. So, Jesus came through. Man, prayer. Prayer works, doesn't it, doesn't it Jody? <laughs> yep. You're going to have to... 
Sorry, our bar is such a mess right now. We got a lot going on here. A lot of cooking happening tonight. Oh. There you go. Just dump that little bit in there. You don't have to have a whole bunch. There we go. We can get a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Just set it off to the side. Just set it, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just set it off to the side. Okay. So here, step out of her way so we're not all in her way. Step over here. Step over here. Right here. Okay. Don't mix it up like that. You got to eat the pot. You know, you got to eat it right now. Don't turn it into berry ice cream. First bite. Is it a keeper? Is it a keeper? Is it good? I do. I kind of do. I kind of do. All right, turn it around here. Turn it around on me. Okay. Oh, and my, my crust came out just perfect. It's still hot. Hot as fire. It wasn't that hot when I ate it. You had more of a thing of ice cream, I think, on it, too. Okay, ready? No applause, please. No applause. Hold your applause, please. Autographs later. When I say this is everything, my sissy came through, first of all. Let me just say thank you very much to Jackie Cox, the apple sister, who does my most magical desserts on giving me the good hustle. Don't eat it all. Pro tips. It's more dang. I know, but it's good. And this is my first bite. Okay. This cobbler was everything. Is it not everything? It is. Make your grandmama, make your great grandma a little bold. Now I want to go find her and make her taste it and put some uh, put some ice cream with it. Okay. You want to go do that? <laughs> so it's sweet and it's tart. So I used for the four. I think I, well, you know, I showed you guys, but it's, and I'll write down, I'll type out the actual, um, the, the recipe because the woman or the man, whoever posted that original recipe that I kind of went off of, um, he told his whole life story too. And nobody wants to go through all that to find a damn recipe. So yeah. So anyway. So, yeah, this is going to be probably gone tonight, I'm guessing. Woo, look at that. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. And it's just exactly how I like the, um, how I like the Crazy. crust. Yeah, because I don't like the crust to be doughy. Um, yeah. All right, now put some, slide some ice cream on top of that and then give it to Graham and see what she thinks. So, I'm going to consider this a win. We're going to stick this in the win column. I'm going to let my, my mother taste this. Doobie, do you want to taste this? You don't want to taste it? Here we go. Just make the same thing whenever we need it. Yep. So, we got this. We're going to keep this and make this. So, Jen... I hope you're watching, honey, because I am now a master berry cobbler maker. Right, she don't need that much ice cream, baby. That's what. That's what. Yeah, you gonna make somebody up all night with the with the shivs. Okay. I do. Well, I care. I care. So stop. No arguing. No fussing. No fussing, fighting, arguing. Come on. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, dude. I'm going to plate this really pretty and right, take a picture of it. it. All right, let's, let's see. Let's see what the, what the mother thinks of it. Graham? When you, okay. All right. When you come out, we have something special for you. 
a special treat. All right. In the meantime, you guys are going to sit here, talk to me for a second because she is indisposed. That's why you don't sneak up, you don't roll up on an 82-year-old woman. So, yeah, so there's that. But, uh, yeah, I'm Jody. I am. I just want to jump for joy right now. I am so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, I think I'm just going to take pictures. Mother! Not that I want her to put pressure on anything, but yeah. So anywho, we're done here. So that recipe was super quick. It took 35 minutes, 30, no, four, let's say 40 minutes because I let it cook a little longer so that my crust could be a little bit more done because um, that's how I like my crust. But if you like it, you know, a little doughier, then... And I don't feel anxious, anxious anymore, Jody. I don't feel I, I am like I'm so happy right now. This sounds really stupid, but I kind of I come I'm kind of tearing up a little bit because I was so stressed out over this being a good thing, and now I don't have to stress anymore. I can make this, and actually, Jen is getting one. Come on in here, cause I need you to try this. I know I'm always doing something. There's so much stuff here on the table because we're all, we're trying to cook and get ready for, um, we're trying to cook and get, so this is my mother. And now this is her first try of my berry cobbler. And you can be honest, we're amongst friends. What do you think? Delightful. Delightful. Simply delightful. Did you like it, dude? She didn't try it. Do still, I think, out of source a little bit because I woke her up to, to do this and I could have just gotten Squee to do it, so. But she's up baking cheesecakes now, and That's I appreciate right, that. Honey. Nothing. Anyway, so you're enjoying? Oh, so, I'm loving this. Okay. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. And Jody, we're going to try it. We, you know what? I'm feeling so frisky. I'm feeling so frisky. I'll take it off her now. Um, yeah, seriously, everybody's kitchen looks a hot mess, but like, yeah. And I cleaned it this morning. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know it now. There's a, so much going on. So much happening right now. Yes. So anyway, um, but yeah, I do want to try bread. As a matter of fact, I was laying in bed the other night and I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I think Jody actually sent me a recipe for bread. And bread is another thing that it intimidates me. It does. Bread making intimidates me. Um, something about yeast. Something about fooling around with yeast intimidates me. But you know what? I've mastered cobbler making. I'm a master cobbler maker now. And so we're going to press forward onto bread making. But not before Thanksgiving because I am overwhelmed. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in dinner with spice and if you guys haven't joined the youtube thing for the other videos please do so and uh yeah so because this one is gonna i'm gonna, gonna i'm gonna link oh, yeah. the, these two videos together and then we're gonna have one one full shot but i'm gonna post the recipe uh, up here shortly so yes your aunt lucille's oatmeal bread recipe so I, I'm assuming that that is easy for the layman. I pray that it is easy enough for the layman. And we're going to press forward with that. So that'll be when I do the bread uh, bread mm. thing. We're going to do that together. So love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will talk to you guys on the flip side. Peace out.